Some of you were witnesses to when I threatened my brother with a manne for testing my patience. I guess he acquired all his canal instincts from that school by the canal. Make us a beacon in darkest hours. Hold out your candle for all to see. Take your candle, go light your world. Dukatat sapatat in ekamayaka. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ranali Gunatilka, and yes, I am the sister of the groom. This is one of those rare moments where I have a good five minutes to talk uninterrupted by my family. As my older brother, you've been a great role model to me. And as your younger sister, I couldn't have asked for a better sibling. Uh, to be honest, I really could have, but I never really had a choice. <laughs> if someone were to ask me about our relationship, I'd say it's pretty unconventional, even from a Lankan perspective. Aya and I have a six-year age gap, and one would think we'd be extremely close, but it's quite the opposite. We were at each other's throats since 1993, and some of you were witnesses to when I threatened my brother with a manne for testing my patience. In my young age, I always understood why we fought and didn't see eye to eye. Because I was obviously the better-looking sibling and got way more attention than he did. However, I would sincerely like to thank the Air Force for their militant training because it was after this that my brother learned good manners and started treating me like his own sibling. Normally, <laughs> thank you. Normally, one would learn these things from school, but uh, I guess he acquired all his canal instincts from that school by the canal. <laughs> I also remember the countless number of times where I've supported my brother, taking his side in family arguments, tirelessly baking bloody chocolate chip cookies for his 60-plus batchmates, and lying to my parents on behalf of him. In return, I can only recall one time I ever did something for me. This was giving me a thousand rupees as pocket money. For this cheap amount, suddenly I owed him the world. All jokes aside, though, Aya truly has been a silent guardian, guiding me whenever I needed help and being a friend to me always. I admire him for being a strong individual whenever people tried to put him down and always being a class above the rest. In all honesty, one of the best things that Aya has ever done is to introduce Tishi to our family. Not only is she the girl that's as sudu as Ammi, but she is also kind, persevering, and patient. I know these are essential qualities needed to live with my brother. I am Tishi. It really is an honor and pleasure to stand here today and speak a few words on this very special occasion. I wish you two nothing but the very best that this life has to offer. And I know God has a plan. God has a great plan for the two of you. There might be a few obstacles that might seem hard to overcome, but remember, God gives the hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. I know I'm probably one of the few people here, or maybe the only person who has no experience on real-life problems, but the only advice that I can share with you, too, is to always rely on Jesus. So, dear Aya, anyway, dukatat sapatat in ekamayaka. And so to show my appreciation, I've stolen a song from YouTube to sing to the both of you, and I hope it's relevant. <laughs> Home. 
We are a family whose hearts are blazing. We raise our candles and light up the sky, praying to our Father in the name of Jesus. Make us a beacon in darkest stars. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the hopeless, confused and torn. Hold out your candle for all to see. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Thank you. Well, we-